Hi students and welcome back to Bank Exams today and I am Insia. I am here with another English topic that is theme detection and it is for English section. Students who are weak in English always mail me and ask me how to solve this reading comprehension because the paragraph is so lengthy and they do not understand the main idea of the passage. Uh, first thing I want you all to know that if you want to improve your reading practice, then you must read the newspapers daily. At least read an editorial article or any news. Try to find out the main idea behind that topic or what the writer is trying to say. That will improve your reading speed and skill as well. First, we must know that what is the reading comprehension and what is the theme of the passage basically uh, students think that reading comprehension means a long paragraph is given and you have to just tick mark the questions no the very basic reason behind giving the reading comprehension as a passage in the exam is that how well do you comprehend the passage or how well do you understand the point of views of other people uh, it is a kind of mental skill that you need to require at various points in your life and examiner wants to test that skill. He wants you to know that you should be able to understand the point of view of others but the other person is trying to say is it is he happy sad He's, he has written a satire or ironical passage or anything that is is there in the English language. There are various tones in the passage and you must know about the tones. Like sometimes the passage is negative, sometimes it is positive, sometimes it is a satire on a political condition or national event. So basically reading comprehension means to read for meaning you just don't read to read the passage you read for meaning to find out the hidden meanings in the passage to find out the hidden what is hidden in the passage what is there in the passage what the writer is trying to say suppose you are in a room and you want to convey your message to someone and you have written that on the paper there is a particular language for every strata or every category like if we are students we have a particular kind of reading and writing style and if you are a banker you have another kind of writing style so every person has his or her own individual and unique writing style and to understand we need a mental skill that make us understand what the other person is trying to say if suppose you send a letter to your friend and he will definitely from your words and he or she will definitely understand what you are actually trying to say like he will comprehend the hidden meanings similarly here you have to become the friend of the writer or the author who has written that passage we never know who is the author but we must put our mind in the comprehension passage to reach the mind of the author right so to read for the meanings we and to read for meaning means you have to swipe away all your perceptions you have to be very neutral you have don't think about yourself don't think about from your point of view you have to think like the other person that is the basic meaning of reading comprehension and if we are talking about theme, what is a theme? Theme is the big idea, the inspiration or the reason. Each passage or even it is a small passage is written 
keeping in mind few things few topics and few perception so you have to find out the idea basic idea of the passage that is theme detection in reading comprehension you find out what is author is trying to say what is the central theme of the passage these kind of question and today we are going to do the same thing how we going to reach the mind of the author how we are going to find out the theme of the passage right if you are not from the english background like students who haven't studied in the english med english medium schools or are not from that background or do not have the proper command over the language what you need to do just try to read small passages if you have a class 12 book or class 10 book there are so many passages they are easy ones if you find some and try to read those small passages first if you uh, in build this habit of reading small passages just try to find out the meanings and the themes of that passage if you remember that when we were in school we we all have done a topic that is called presse right in which we were asked to summarize the passage in two or three lines right if you remember i know you all have done that in your school even in the college level students who were weak in english used to do that they just picked up the from few lines from the passage and write down the presse that was not the right way um to write way to attempt a presse is to read the passage comprehend the passage in your own language and then make a presse okay then the theme actually means the underlying meaning of the lines of the passage or the paragraph given in the reading comprehension to attempt the reading comprehension what should we do this is the basic or the big question of students that how to do the theme detection now what to do how will you understand the other person or how will you reach to the mind of other person you are not a magician you are not a trickster who is going to read people's mind no we are simple people and we need to know few tricks that will help you a lot to find out the basic themes of the passage first read the passage as we have said that while reading comprehension while you do the reading comprehension you have to read the passage two or three times and while you are reading try to find the main idea like sometimes the passage is based on issue of poverty pollution corruption but sometimes that we see is not the real thing that we want to know if it is poverty the passage can be based on the reasons or remedies or who is behind who is responsible so there are uh, uh, different different categories while you are reading a passage so if you find a word poverty in a passage don't just jump into the conclusion that the theme main theme is the poverty there can be other themes also so read the passage and find out the two or three themes or ideas that you can find out from the reading comprehension passage then look out for clues if you are reading a passage then you find the small links that connects each and every paragraph of the passage right if you find the small clues then try to link them together and you will read you will get the main theme and if this doesn't work then do one thing read the first paragraph and read the last paragraph and try to link those two paragraphs what are the because the first paragraph is basically the introduction and the second paragraph is conclusion so 
most likely it will you will get the theme between these two paragraphs if you want to go in deep then understand author's point of view keep your positive or negatives aside keep your point of view aside and think about the author what things he should have in mind while re- writing that passage okay so it will help you to understand others easily then in the passage if you are giving some quotes or statements that is based like if a uh, author is written this dash 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 then basically the theme will lie in those statements or quotes right as i have said opening and ending is important so you must read those two paragraphs clearly with open eyes and with open mind keeping your mind open is the basic requirement of doing the reading comprehension because it is not something that you can solve it is something that you need to build a skill okay to build these skills you need to read the newspapers and lot of things like books take small books or small novels if you are unable to read the novels try to read the newspaper thoroughly as much as you can it is going to be help you a lot okay uh, i hope i i'm clear about these things uh, like i said that we should start from the small paragraphs so i have collected two examples for you so that we can try how to prepare your mind for the theme detection passages the first paragraph says though the waste of time or expenditure on fashion is very large yet fashion has come to stay they will not go come what may however what is now required that strong efforts should be made to displace the excessive craze of for fashion from the minds of these youngsters if you read the passage at first the thing that strikes your mind is fashion if you are a, not a reader or not a good reader then you will think that the fashion is the only thing is it so no you have to read the passage again what the author is trying to say the author says that it is required that strong efforts should be made to displace the excessive craze for fashion it means author is against fashion he thinks it is a waste of time and money and the youngsters are crazy for fashion so if if we have some options for these this passage the main theme should be fashion and it should be eliminated it should be displaced or it should be removed from the minds of all the youngsters right basically we are trying to say that the youngsters are crazy for fashion they spend a lot of money and they are like crazy they want to wear the new clothes and new accessories new everything new that is in fashion but what's the use it is a waste of money and waste of time because you go and find out new things explore the markets it's usually totally a waste of time so author's point of view is to displace the excessive craze for fashion next the paragraph says the future of women in india is quite bright and let us hope that they will justify their abilities by rising the occasion Napoleon was right when he declared that by educating the women we can educate the whole nation 
बिकॉज अ कंट्री कैन नेवर राइज विदाउट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ देयर पॉपुलेशन आफ्टर रीडिंग दिस इफ यू रीड दिस पैसेज थरली वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द पैसेज इज ऑल अबाउट इट इज अबाउट वीमेन इट इज अबाउट फ्यूचर एंड and it is about the education of women right so what is now we have two or three themes but what is the basic theme we don't know right so just read it again the future of women in india is quite bright and let us hope they will justify their abilities by rising to the occasion it means rising to the occasion means they should be given a chance to show up to come up with new ideas to come up with new opportunities right so basically the writer is in favor of educating women as is uh, now he has supported his idea by napoleon's quote that educating the women we can educate the whole nation basically it is education of women clear now these were the very simple and easy paragraphs that i collected for you reason being that i want you to understand the basic things i never wanted to jump in to the difficult ones i never do that in my videos i always want my readers my listeners and my viewers to understand the concept from the very basics because in all the institutions or coaching centers what do we get you get the you don't need the you never ask for the basics all you get a paper and you have to attempt that you will not find any tricks any tips and any one to clarify your doubts but here we are we want you to clarify each and every doubt relating to every topic of english and others other subjects basically my forte is english and i am trying my best to do what i can do for you but the whole situation is yours you have to give the paper i am not there to help you but i all can do is to make videos for you and to make you understand the small things that are really important that we generally ignore in the coaching centers or institutes right so that's why we are starting from the basics we want our readers to be a good reader a good person and a person who has the clarification of his ideas who, whose mind is not when wandering here and there who is not confused basically the students are confused what to do what not to do they should be very cleared about how to attempt a paper how to do each and every question in the paper so for that thing you have to read practice and discuss your doubts to discuss your doubts note on my email id sorry for this here we are here at the end download the gk digest android application you will be given in link in the description section and then you have to subscribe our channel because we want our users to be here whenever we post a new video whenever we upload a new video and any new content then you must hit the bell icon to get the notifications if i am here with the live sessions or any doubt clearing session then you must be here now 
you must be here to ask your queries to clear, clarify your doubts so for that you have to click the notification button and if you want me to clarify your doubts personally just drop your email at pydv28 in siam at the rate gmail.com i will be waiting for your emails and queries and for more videos just keep supporting us thank you for watching this video i hope you like that keep practicing and study hard thank you so much